the trip down, what it reminded us of and we were laughing about was the movie Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. If you've ever <laughs> seen that movie, that's kind of what it reminded us all of when we talked about that because we had to hop so many different you know, transportations to get to where we needed to go. On the way home, I was trying to think about what I was going to talk about, and we mentioned the water and how the water was such an issue, and I was going to maybe have a class on the art of bathing in a bucket, because <laughs> so many of us had to bath out of a bucket, sometimes two at a time. Uh, but maybe we can save that for a later time. And the food was, you know, the food was really good. I mean, I was kind of worried about that, because people talked about the fishy spaghetti, and I thought, mm, no, so I went with my jar of peanut butter and my granola bars, but it really it was, it was all very, very good. But at the end of the day, I did count the cats to make sure <laughs> that we still had them all. <laughs> and it was good. The cats were all still there. Um, I was telling John, um, I had my little devotion book with me, and I was reading it every day. And the verse for January 17th was 2 Corinthians 5.20, and it reads, if I can find it here, we are therefore Christ's ambassadors as though God were making his appeal through us. And had we been there, oh, well, we didn't do devotions Friday night. We went to um, we went to the church service. Or else I probably would have maybe jumped on that one, but um, uh, that really kind of summed it all up for me. So I'm one of the new guys this year, so I'm just going to touch on a couple highlights. Um, from the week for me. The first night we got there, we landed, finally got everything into the compound and decided, you know, to hit the streets. And when we got there, you could hear the music and everything. And really, none of us even realized that it was the anniversary for the earthquake. So we were asking folks what was going on, and there was a celebration down the street. So we got in our group and we hiked down there. And it really was an awesome thing to see. And um, what I think it was Donna had said that it was akin to what the youth group, when they go to uh, creation. There was just so many people worshiping and singing. And you know, so that was pretty powerful. <clears throat> um, and then we started with the house and worked through the week. About midweek, though, and every night we did go out for a walk. It was midweek, though, we took a walk to the orphanage to see it and tour their area, which was very impressive, beautiful place. Um, but it was, it was sad to me to see all the kids. And I think there was 110 children there, some from earthquake, parents passing away, um, just parents off working, nowhere else to go which I counted them kind of lucky to be in that count compound because, you know, most of the kids you see just wander in the streets. I mean, little ones by themselves. And Friday morning was probably um, just getting that last bucket of rubble into the walls. That was probably the highlight of the week for me, just knowing that we actually accomplished and got that done. When I signed up for the mission trip, I had in my mind that I was, I was going to build a house. And as the week went on, though, I was really kind of felt like I was missing out, you know, not going with Donna because we split up. We split our group, and she had kids and doing BBS. So um, I felt like I missed out on some things there. But I had it in my mind to go build a house, and I did it. So... Um, so uh, I was talking to uh, John, which um, I didn't even think about it this way, but it is true that we went and, and actually completed a physical foundation. You know, it's done, completed it, but um, it's just kind of a start or a continuing work with me and my spiritual foundation. 